Hello, my name is Walter and welcome back to Everything In Between for Lucifer Season 3. Um, okay, so as you guys know, there hasn't been a lot of views on my channel and that's because of the new algorithm on YouTube, whatever. But I'm not really gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into that uh, in a new vlog, whatever. It's gonna be like a rant vlog thing, so just let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it focused on Lucifer here. So I'm gonna try to keep it down within, you know, 10 minutes, whatever, because that's the new, the new YouTube algorithm. I think it's within 5 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, but whatever. Uh, so this is Lucifer Season 3, the episodes I didn't do with you guys, and I'm so sorry about that because I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, I think one of the biggest, sh I mean, you know, biggest fights, I mean, conflict that i really enjoyed is actually lucifer and cinnamon and if you see my eyes darting down it's because i'm trying to see why my <laughs> computer is lagging you know because like it lagged so many times i this is actually my third take but anyway <laughs> uh you don't want to know about that uh, but yeah, so the biggest thing, the biggest conflict for me was uh, Cinnamon versus uh, Lucifer and it was interesting to watch because Lucifer, you know, in so many ways, you know, we think he's, he's going to be on top of things but, you know, whether or not, you know, Cinnamon got his information from Pierce who was revealed to be Kane uh, or not is, you know, yet to be understood because, you know, they kind of implied that but I'm not too sure myself. Um, and if it is, it is, and I'm a fucking dumbo. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely thought that was really interesting because it was kind of like Lucifer's own Saw. It was like really Saw-esque. And I was like, okay, like they, they're doing like a Saw homage and I, I really appreciated that. Um, and then, you know, obviously the biggest plot twist is that Pierce is Kane. But, you know, when you build a, a world as, as, you know, kind of ridiculous and, and over the top, as Lucifer is like you kind of expect the the plot just by now um so it wasn't really shocking for me was like, oh okay yeah Kane is is pure so all right uh but what did um you know surprise me you know is in this very most recent episode that we watched together is that you know Lucifer does care because that that has been his overarching you know character you know in this um past few few episodes is that he's trying to learn how to compromise with everyone and it's is refreshing to see that if he's finally te technically taking all of his lessons into account uh but you know he's he's still gonna be haughty and you know he's he's still gonna be narcissistic it, it's in his personality that's that's just a given um what else? Uh, yeah, Linda and Amanda Deal's relationship was not one to talk about because, like, I, I thought it was cute, yes, but I don't think you know it was really necessary to dive into because, like, you know, we've we've seen the chemistry. Okay, yes, fine, but like, I don't, you know, I just thought they were really chummy friends, and I, you know, that's one of the things that people always say. You know, there's things for relationships and there's things for platonic friendships and I think you know Linda and Amanda Deal's relationship is more of the platonic kind and uh, you know we see the development of uh, Maze's jealousy side and that's understandable but one of the things I, I felt you know was out of the blue was that development because like we've we've seen her as a badass character so we we always think that there's not gonna be anything that, that affects her but obviously this affects her because she did feel something for Amanda Deal and I think you know she doesn't want to confront that yet uh, but when it when it you know broke apart I think you know it affected her the most and when she saw uh, Linda and Amanda Deal together you know it kind of broke her a bit but you know we've never been able to see the full on you know there's a patch in the whole like why did she go like this bananas thing and i think that's such an important thing when you're 
when you're doing a story is you need to make sure there's no plot holes and for me it's it's more on that because like we haven't seen Maze in a while and you know whether or not she she went, really went bent bounty hunting or you know the the actor the actress had to go do other work that's not the point the point is I'm trying to say that uh, you know Maze kind of went into this like head on and maybe that's in her character but you know it was never really dived into and I, that is just my opinion um and uh i but i still really like the character on its own like mace is still badass and i and i think you know her comeuppance uh in the newest episode was really cool to watch as well so there you have it um what else um yeah so we we still see the back and forth in between uh uh, Decker and uh, Lucifer and you know the most interesting like peaking of that relationship is like when Lucifer had to betray uh, Chloe to, to kind of get Cinderman to talk and that was you know really kind of just there for the dram uh, like dramatic tension and also the romantic tension because that's something Chloe didn't want him to do but uh, you know they kind of resolved that but you can see that you know Chloe is still kind of holding him to that uh, and that's one of the things that I kind of find you know really disturbing from the super because like and they just kind of brush things off too easily I think for me uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna continue watching Lucifer because you know of YouTube's algorithm number one and number two is because you know it, it's kind of just getting still in the moment um, and you know I, I just find shows kind of meh nowadays I guess maybe um, like I, re I really haven't been watching any new series like the, the one new series I tried was Altered Carbon but that one was like really predictable I was like okay I got I got it like it's Total Recall meets Cloud Atlas meets a lot of other things Blade Runner whatever it's it's that kind of like sci-fi genre of like detectives and all that so I was like yeah after the pilot I'm not gonna watch it anymore I was thinking about doing a season like season recap or you know whatever for that but I, I didn't think it was necessary uh, after think really thinking about it um, anyway back to Lucifer um, I, I just think that over the number of episodes that I missed out on and I watched you know there there isn't a lot for me to remember because th that's how much it, it gets kind of stale because like when you don't remember an episode you know you 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 know that that episode wasn't really for you because I'm struggling to remember what episodes were there right now it's because I I only mostly remember the cinnamon um, you know the cinnamon plot tw uh, thread right there and then the the twist of uh, Pierce Minkin and uh, you know Linda and Amanda deal and how you know uh, Charlotte Richards is kind of convincing Dan to you to you know that she's a different person and you know Dan saying that yeah it's, it's okay that we put up our you know relationship for now because I understand that you need to find yourself blah 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 so it's it's that type of, of thing um, so yeah I, I I think I've covered enough because it's it's gonna reach 10 minutes on the re legitimate clock uh, after I added, maybe it's gonna be shut out of 30 seconds, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. So, uh, if you would like me to watch any other series, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to me. And remember to ring the bell, because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people right now. And They've unsubscribed a lot of people from my channel because I'm right now I'm at six for six, which is really weird. Because I was at six for eight the other day, and you know they unsubscribed two people. So to make sure you're not unsubscribed, please ring the bell and uh, remember to share my videos uh, so that we can get up on there on the trending page. And um, remember to support me on Patreon.com/Walter. I'll put it in the description below if possible. 
And uh, as always, I will see you guys in the next video, which is gonna be right after this because I I really have some stuff to talk about with uh, YouTube and its you know its new algorithm, whatever. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.